Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Monday afternoon. Crews are addressing a portion of a downtown Shenandoah building damaged during one of January's snowstorms. Shenandoah Mayor Roger McQueen is asking for the public's cooperation during demolition of a portion of Brown Shoe Fit's corporate offices at 111 North Sycamore Street. McQueen tells KMA News a section of the building collapsed from heavy snow from the January 12th snowstorm, one of two such events hitting KMA land that week. Portions of Sycamore Street between Sheridan and Lowell Avenue remain blocked until further notice. In addition, McQueen says barricades will be placed in front of Brown's building to assist demolition. Certain times when they've got to get their machinery removed and stuff, we're probably going to go ahead and barricade Sheridan off from uh, roughly uh, past the fire station, you know, down to the corner, just to keep cars from getting in there so we don't have any congestion and stuff when they're trying to get their work and, you know, work done. Uh, of course, Sycamore is going to remain blocked off in that whole block area there until they get done because of the uh, debris and the, and the chance of anything falling. Uh, McQueen asks the public to avoid the area around downtown during the demolition. The mayor says it's unknown how long Sycamore between Sheridan and Lowell will be barricaded. One person was killed in a head-on collision in Cass County early this morning. The Iowa State Patrol says the accident occurred on U.S. Highway 6 near the intersection of 582nd Street north of Lewis shortly before 6 a.m. Authorities say a 2007 GMC Sierra, driven by 43-year-old Vincent Samuel Trabona of Louisiana, was westbound on 6 when, in, for unknown reasons, the vehicle crossed the center line and struck an eastbound 2019 Chevy Silverado driven by 59-year-old Greg Scott of Coors of Griswold head-on. Authorities say the GMC came to rest facing southeast in the North Ditch. The Chevy pickup came to rest facing northwest in the South Ditch. The patrol says Coors was wearing a seatbelt but died from his injuries at the scene. The collision remains under investigation. From door-to-door -door visits to open houses, Clemente school officials and supporters continue to spread the word in a special election next month. Voters go to the polls March 5th on a voted physical planning equipment levy of $1.34 per thousand dollars valuation. Clarinda School Superintendent Jeff Privia says proceeds in the pebble would cover a wish list of projects, including those in the uh, two bond issues rejected by voters in 2023. Open houses explaining uh, the pebble last Monday and Wednesday were held at the Clarinda High School cafeteria. Two more events are scheduled for this Wednesday, as well as February 26th. Both houses, open houses taking place at 6.30 p.m. at the Clarinda High School cafeteria. KMA, on-track weather forecast uh, for this afternoon. Mostly sunny, highs in the low 50s tonight. Patchy fog overnight, otherwise mostly clear with lows in the upper 20s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmainland.com. Have a good rest of your Monday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.